Here we grow Solust again. Said Ia Tempeste, as we see it's female and ablative, but in that time, coepere to begin, say quizqui. So here's what's going on. This means each person, each one, um, they began, say will be reflexive later on, magus ex tolere magus qui. So more and more these go together. To ex tol, say themselves. So each person was um, raising up themselves. Uh, in Genium, so this is actually what's being raised up, their, their natural um, inborn skills and talents and uh, character. Habere impromptu. Yeah, promptu means to be ready at hand. So in this time, each person began to raise up more and more their own personal skills to be ready at hand. Nam for regibus, dative for ablative plural. Bonae quem malae suspectiore sunt. Okay, so this is our Comparative, um, and sunt would mean it's plural, obviously, going with it in the ES. So, they were more suspect, or rather suspect, boni, of good, quam malai, than of bad. This looks like to the kings. Um, sempiqui, and always, is, with regibus, to, to them, virtus alienar. Virtus is female, so the other people's virtue or valor, looks like they're in opposition was for Mugilosa est to the kings, um, which means dreaded. So basically, the kings were very suspective of uh, the good people rather than the bad people, which isn't a good thing in your civilization, and they were semper, always uh, dreading other people doing virtues or virtuous things. Said, but civitas, this is the state basically, of civilization, incredibile memoratu est. Or the S might be with adapter. Uh, this is again incredible in the memory of, or incredible to remember, or commemorate, or to remember the state. Adapter libertate, that's ablative. So with liberty adapted, which means obtained, um, quantum brevi creverit. So how much quantum is, uh, and creverit means increased, brevi in a brief period of time. So this state, which is an incredible thing to remember, once they had obtained their liberty, in a brief period of time, how much they increased. And uh, there we go. Tenta cupido, nominative, gloria, genitive, incessorat. So that means pressing in. So such a desire of glory was pressing them. So again, when you're remembering this, the state, in this ablative, once, you've, once they've obtained liberty, how they had increased in size in a brief period of time. And there was such a desire of glory that was uh, pushing them or pressing them on. Yeah, so now already, primum, first of all, the Juventus. This is the young people. So the young, they're already now, uh, similar at the same time, or similac goes together, so as soon as, that, uh, when you put these two together, uh, patience erat belli. So when they were, could endure or suffer uh, the, to go into war when they were enduring of war. So they're a young man, as soon as they were capable of probably enduring the war, uh, in castrus, in the camps, per labor, through uh, work or hard work, usam milite discabet. Okay, so uh, Juventus is much like multitude, so it's taking a singular here. So the young man would learn Use some military, how to be of use to the military or the military ways. Magus qui and more in decorous arms. Uh, this is like a handsomeness. Decorous is what's um, the honors of arms. If you want to take this in with the arms and militabus equus, which is with the military horses, which would be the cavalry. So they really like these uh, honors of of bearing arms and of the fighting with horses, uh, then, quam, in scortus, again, we're using in with the ablative, uh, escorts or prostitutes, and convivis, which are parties or feastings. Okay, have a ban. Now they're taking the plural. They were having uh, ludin, libudinum. Uh, again, this is uh, desires, basically. So, they would have more, magus, quam, uh, then. Yeah, so they had more lust for military honours and the cavalry than in prostitutes and parties. 
Igator, therefore, talibus virus, such men, and we're in a dative or ablative plural, non labor insolitus, okay? Uh, labor, which is work, was non insolitus. They were uh, not unaccustomed uh, to such types of men, if you want to put it that way. So these men were not unaccustomed to labor. Again, this is a nominative looking form. Uh, non locus ullus. Ullus is one of the naughty nine pronominals, uh, which go I in the dative, etc. Uh, and it usually comes with a negative, so non asper, locus. So there was not any place, it was asper, which is harsh. Ought means or, or arduous, uh, usually means steep or on an incline. Uh, a non amatus hostis. Uh, hostis is the eye stem, and uh, so not an armed enemy for medullosis again. So therefore, to such types of men, they were not unaccustomed to work. No place was too harsh or steep. Uh, there was no armed enemy which they would be dreading or in fear of. Virtus omnia dom werated. So virtue or valor had dominated or tamed everything. It made a way for everything, said, but gloria could be genitive or it could be plural, maximum curtiman, okay, so the maximum curtiman, the greatest contest for glory or of glory was inter ipsos, you're right, it was uh, amongst themselves, the ipsos, uh, demonstrative pronoun, say, the reflexive for themselves, quiz quiz, so each one, veriria, to strike a hostem, which is the enemy, each one for themselves to strike an enemy, to ascendere a murum, to ascend a wall, cosin spicky, this looks like a passive infinity, to be seen, uh, dum tale facinus facaret, okay, and so, while dum facaret, while he did uh, tale facinus, which is a, the, uh, the neuter, which takes his E, so, while he was doing these, contests, these greatest contests among themselves, um, pro perabat, they were, they were hastening to do such things and to strike the enemies and climb walls and to be seen while doing these facinus, these deeds. Ies, these things, plural, female, uh, these glories, etc. These were their riches, what we saw being seen and climbing walls. Em, bonem, famem, magnum qui nobilitatem putabant. So they were thinking that these were good uh, reports and rumours about themselves or good fame for themselves and great nobilitum. So this was a, there was no like social order of actually being um, here. This nobility is just uh, the praise itself for doing these things was the uh, nobility themselves of uh, striking enemies, etc. Lordis, female third genitive. Avidai, this I would mean plural, so they were avid of praise, pecunae liberales erant, yeah, so it's in the past obviously with, with the erant, plural, so they were liberal, which means they were generous most likely, generous of money, or for money, with their money, uh, ingentem gloriam, this is the accusative form, and that's the adjective is ingentem, which means huge, Huge glories in that position. Uh, here, Volibant. They wanted huge glories and honestas divitas. This is the plural form. And honest riches. So, by slaughtering people and taking their money, that's a good, honest way of becoming rich. Memore possum. So, I am able, taking the infinitive to remember. Quibus in locus. We would have in which places this means, using that relative. Maximus. Hostium copious, so maximus copious means a great copiousness or huge quantities of their forces, hostium of the enemy, populus romanus in the nominative. So the Roman people, populus romanus, they would feuder it. They had routed a huge force of these hostiums with a parvu menu, with a small handful of men or a band of men. Quas urbis natura munitas. Pugnando Kebret. Okay, and which naturally fortified Natura Munitas, um, naturally fortified cities, they would Kebret, they would take by this gerundive in the, by storming it means literally. 
Um, unless or except ne e res, uh, this uh, subject, I'm guessing this thing, longius nos. This would uh, ab incepto track, okay. So this matter, this eus res, would traheret, this would drag nos as longius, comparative, rather far from what he'd incepted, uh, from what he'd began to relate here. Sed profecto fortuna in omne re dominantor. Dominator, there's no in there. But perfecto, assuredly, fortune, fortuna, is the the dominus, is the master, or dominates in all matters, in omne re. Ia, would be she for fortuna. Res cunctus, accusative uh, plural. So she, in all matters or circumstances, ex lubidine from a desires, magus quem, more than, ex vero, from the truth. So, here she celebrates obscuratque. So she celebrates or obscures res cunctus, all matters from her own desires more than ex vero, more than from the truth. Atheniesum, these would be inhabitants of Athens. Oh, the res gesta Athenium. So the res gesta, the, the things done, the um, manifest deeds of the Athenians, sicuti just as ego astumo, just as I think, I estimate, I, I regard these, satis ample, satisfactorily ample magnificaque. Looks like the satis of the um, genitive. So it's uh, satisfactorily ample and magnificent for uh, they had been. Uh, that's the for is the shortened version of for rent. Okay, so the res gestas of the Athenians, just as I think, was satisfactorily ample and magnificent. Verum, but. Uh, Eloquanto minoras tamen. So you can take this tamen as a yet or as a... Nevertheless, they were a little bit of quantity minores. They were a little bit less quam than their fama, their fame, uh, feronto is born or is reported or related. Said queer. But because provenerant, um, I by there, the adverb, but because there, magna ingenium scriptorum, but because there, there was a great uh, talent, again, of their writers, uh, which provenere, which uh, thrived, basically, um, provenerunted, uh, per terrarum orbum, through the orb of the world, through the known world, the Athenesium factor, this is the deeds, Athenian the deeds of the Athenians, you might want to put it again. Pro Maximus celebrant. They were celebrated pro, as if they were Maximus the greatest. In the daily dictionary word is pro venio. I appear, I originate, arise, I grow up, thrive, prosper. Here we go. Ita eorum. So again, it is thus or so, eorum of them, que fecere, who have done, who did these things. Virtus, that's virtue, valor again, the female uh, third declension word. Tant, tanta hab, habitu or quantum. So tanta and quantum usually go together as correlatives. So thus, ita, the valor, eorum of those who have done these things, is such considered quantum as much as em verbis potuere extolus. Um, uh, potuere is meant to be um, text infinitive again, so it's able to extolerate verbus in words that play pre clara in genia. So, again, as much as the valor of those who have fecorate have done this, the uh, pre clara in genia of those who are able to extol them uh, in verbus, in, so in words. Basically, it just means the valor of those who have done this is basically the same amount of uh, famous talent of those who are able to extol them in words as those who have done the deed. At, but, populo romano, to the Roman people most likely, numquem um, never, ia copia fuit, was this means. Uh, we saw copious up here, meaning uh, copious amount of enemy, meaning a lot of, here copia means, means, literally. But to the Roman people, there never was fuit uh, such a means. Uh, queer, because, quiz queer, each one prudentissimus, our um, superlative, so it's our most wise, who was each one in the nominative. Negotiosus erat maxume. So he was very businesslike, he was engaged especially or most of the time in his business. 
This is what the most wise people were doing. In Genium, Nemo sine corpore exorcist. So, Nemo, no one in the nominative, was exercising his ingenium, his talent in, inside of his brain, sine corpore, without his body. And the optimus quizque, each one, again, quizque, thought the optimus, the best thing, was to facere, then to dicere, to, to do things, then to talk about them. Uh, sua ab alias benefactor laudare quem ipsi aliorum narre amalabat, which is preferred in the impersonal. And we'll scroll down. So sua benefactor means their good deeds. Bene is good and factor is the deed. Uh, remember they were preferring it to be laudare. Uh, malabat takes the infinitive. This is the passive infinitive. So each one preferred to be pray his uh, good deeds to be praised ab alias by other people. Quam then to narrate to narrate uh, themselves ipsi. Um, what other people did. So they wanted to be praised by other people rather than themselves to narrate about other people. We're just about done here. Uh, Igator domi milite qui boni mores colabantor. Semicolon. Okay, so Igator, therefore, they were praising boni mores. Uh, actually, this would be the nominative. So therefore, the good mores, uh, good habits were praised because that's a uh, passive. Domai, locative at home, and milite. The qui, there's the and. Um, a lot of times in Latin, quis, where we'd use commas, I understand. But anyway, at home and abroad on their campaigns. Uh, concordia maxima, so agreements and concord was especially great, and avaritia rat minima. So they thought being in agreement was was one of their greatest uh, skills of their good mores which they were cultivating and avarice and greed was the least thing that was um, praised was not considered a good more uses neuter jus bonum qui so good good is bonum uh, justice and good apodius among them put takes the accusative non legibus so it was not with laws magus quem nature uh, more than nature valabat prevailed or was strong so right and good was among them it was uh, it prevailed uh, not because of laws, but it was more than uh, because of their nature. Uh, Yergia and Rixus are usually just uh, fighting, infighting, uh, disputes. Discordia is the opposite of concordia. So discord, simultates, that's a nice word for meaning a feud. They were exabanting cum hostibus. So any problems and discords and fighting they had with their enemies. Uh, Sives cum civibus, citizens with citizens. De virtue concerning their uh, valor's curtaband. So when it comes to real fighting and feuding, it was with their enemies, and they only curtaband that they contested with citizen with citizen only to do with valor and virtue. In supplicus deorum, in supplicating of the gods or in worshiping of the gods, magnifici. Again, that's plural. So they are magnificent or rather extravagant in the worshiping of the gods. Parkai domai. So again, at home they were parkai. Sparing or frugal in amicos, in with the accuser means towards their friends, they were fidel azirant, they were very loyal.